So powerful word delivered tonight. The one thing that I would tell you that what has changed my life. It's refreshing to go back to the basics. Powerful, powerful preacher. And uh, I love, the, I'm, I'm a lover of the gospel. Well, it's a delight for me to meet an elder in the faith. You couldn't have been bad. Gracias, Jesus. Well, personally, I think it was a message that I, I've been searching for. The blood of Jesus. And, and again, that's a beautiful word. He knows the Bible well, but it's in the way that he presents it, the word pictures. And I think that's uh, one of the most powerful ways to be able to deliver scripture on believing the Bible. Not, not the words that the enemy wants to sow in my head, but to believe the words of the Bible. So powerful word delivered tonight. So everything that Pastor Park is teaching is scripturally sound, you know? And so what, the, the one thing that I would tell you that what has changed my life is because in America, most pastors like me preach 52 messages every year. Every Sunday we got a different message. So what's the what, what happens if you fit, preach 52 messages and nobody gets any of them? But if you preach one message and people get it, isn't it better to teach the one message? He's a man that's changing people's lives through the Word of God. Not through his own, because he don't talk about himself. He's talking about God and what God can do for you. Not what he can do for you, what God can do for you. And I love that. Pastor, that I've been a pastor for, for close to 40 years, it's refreshing to go back to the basics and see the way with the stories and the examples, the illustrations that Pastor Osu Park gives about the, tonight, who's speaking in particular about that we are justified and that uh, we are not sinners and that we cannot judge ourselves. And that was a very, very clear way he put it in a way that uh, most people can understand. So he really blessed us. We're very thankful that uh, he's here with us today. Pastor Park reminds me of so many of the preachers that I grew up under. Powerful, powerful preacher. And uh, I love, the, I'm, I'm a lover of the gospel. And I see that he believes in lifting Jesus. And uh, that to me, is it means the world. Uh, if this kind of preaching can go all over the world, uh, and uh, like I say, all of my life, I grew up with this kind of preaching uh, with people just like him, and, a, and a, just in a different language, but it's wonderful. When that happens, when we continue to hear this kind of message spreading around the world, I believe that all men will be drawn. The Bible says it, and I believe it. What? Well, it's a delight for me to meet an elder in the faith, and I'm thrilled he's in New, York, in New York and in the United States. We need his kind of faith here. You know, because I've read the Bible many times over uh, the decades, I'm always fascinated when I hear something new. I never heard anyone uh, in my memory uh, say what Pastor Park said about when Jesus wrote in the dust with his finger, uh, how that has a parallel to God writing the law on the tablets that he gave Moses. We're under a new law. This is what Jesus wrote. And uh, it's just a beautiful story. Acabo de tener una reunión ahorita. Fue impactante. Para mí fue una palabra viva de liberación, de sanidad, de milagro. Soy salvo, soy justo, soy sano. No soy pecador, no soy enfermo. Soy próspero, porque decir que soy un pecador es insultar al Señor. Es como decir que su trabajo en la cruz fue en vano. Y el cual nunca ha sido en vano. Gracias Jesús. Gracias por vivir. Bueno, personalmente, creo que fue un mensaje que he estado buscando. 
I did receive a message from you today. I can't believe it, but move forward on it. Now, every after today, I will move forward on it. Whoever was blocking me, it's gone now. So. And I talked about the fact that, uh, he talked about the fact that um, as sinners, uh, we are saved uh, by uh, the death and blood of Jesus. And, and again, that's a beautiful word. And so I, I said to Pastor Park that um, I have sinned and I am so grateful uh, that uh, Jesus has saved us.